Mm. Oh my gosh, people. I was just trimming my nose hairs. And a burst of insight came to me. It immediately went out my head again. You know, funny how thinking is. Oh my gosh, people. I'm in a world of paid yet again. I had just gotten over my fear of being assassinated in this country because of my last name, Kennedy. And then I remembered that gay men have been assassinated in this country, namely Harvey Milk, say his name. Yeah. I don't feel like going into a whole shebang. She bop, she bop, she bop about it. I'm just doing my laundry, doing my housekeeping, keeping time, working out my project, how not to do time. All right, because believe you motherfuckers, I could get arrested if I wanted to. In fact, I have been. I've been caged before, have you? That's where my project AKA my play tea party or the green room, how I keep myself from killing myself between turds in the limelight. Stay out of Rafa. But the famine has already set in. the fuck you talking about, Willis? There's going to be a forced starvation in the Holy Land? Nah. Nah. N-O, no. Just say no. You know, why was marijuana outlawed in this country in the first place? The war on drugs. Everybody's talking about how this summer reminds them of 1968. Well, actually, if campuses had been open instead of closed in 2020, that would have been the summer of 1968, the summer of love, as I kept saying and other people were suggesting. Time is seriously out of joint, my friends. I've been saying this for four years now. Will nobody listen? No. Because it takes effort to change. But once you get that change started, well, my friend, it's called jet propulsion. You just keep going and going and going. Give it up for bus route 177 in Pasadena, yo. I see you, JPL. I see you. I didn't go to space camp, but my brother did. And poor one out for Dennis Perone. You know what? We have gay men to thank for legal marijuana in this country. You see that blinking light there, my friends? That means I was done inhaling. Bill Clinton, I smoked but didn't inhale. And that motherfucker sent so many people to jail. because they did smoke marijuana, because they sold marijuana rather than purchasing the corporate narcotics. San Francisco Cannabis Buyers Club. I'm a medical marijuana user. 
Everybody's seen how I changed my friends. I'm a faith healer. It's tattooed right here on my arm. I am looking out at the audience, but I'm also capturing footage on my phone. Today, Madonna had a free concert at Copacabana. Now that's what's up, motherfuckers. I learned from the best. I saw how Madonna did the tour. Multiple dimensions, my friend. This is just one. Everybody knows the sparks that fly when I stomp across your pavement. You want to know who a good lyricist is? Yes, Stephen Malkmus. Do you want to know who else is a really fucking good lyricist? Beyonce. Everybody's talking about Taylor Swift as a good lyricist. Yes, Taylor Swift is a great lyricist. In fact, I actually think her lyricism is next level on this album, right? That's one of the things that the critics get wrong here, right? Somebody actually said that the line... Uh, my friends either smell like marijuana or newborn babies was bad as like, what the fuck are you talking about, yo? I'm just making it contemporary. Note to self, note to audience at home, or if you're watching here in the audience, we have Wi-Fi. I encourage you to come up and film me. Because that's part of where this story begins, my friends. It begins at Soho Rep. Part of the reason I remain a late bloomer is because I can't stop speaking truth to power. My middle name is Michael. My confirmation name is Paul. My fifth name is Ver E. Toss. If you don't entiendo me, you can book a session. I'll help you read me correctly. Oops. I did it again. This. This is a husband pillow. My friends, this was all I needed. Look at that rosebud, yo. Look at that rosebud, yo. <gasps> that was all I needed. I don't need a man. I don't need a man. I don't need a man to rent me of my pain, all I needed was a husband pillow, people. And that shit, I understand why it's called a husband pillow. Because it feels like you're being supported from behind by your husband. <laughs> <laughs> and I've had the best sleep of my life. Smoking a little 420 and relaxing into that husband pillow. All my life, I've been singing, Don't cry for me, Argentina. And now I know why Dennis Perone, baby. A gay veteran. Let me get my VA hat, yo. I'd be nothing without my gay veterans, yo. Oh my God, I am taking back... I am taking back my country, people. My country is of thee. I just put in 40 hours of work this week. And I got written up for it positively. 
That's right. One of my new colleagues said that I was a wonderful colleague. How about that? Now, I was working with a bunch of youngsters who didn't think it was that cool, but I thought that was super cool to get that level of documentation that I was a cool person myself. You need it in this world, people. Listen, what else does VA stand for? Here's a teaching moment right here. Virginia, right? Why is Virginia called Virginia, people? It was a tribute to the virgin queen, Elizabeth I. I mean, is this ridiculous, right, people? This is why I lost my mind, right, at Gettysburg College. I was like, <gasps> Now, I know my history, and I know that the Confederate flag is not supposed to be shown in school, unless it's for teaching purposes, right? That this is what a Confederate flag looks like. And yet there it was, impaled on half the burgers at the burger joint on the corner in the town square. And I thought, I know a corner. The one at the University of Virginia, the institution that black people built. Yeah, I sent them a letter, Care of the Alumni Association magazine recently because their dean of arts and sciences apparently doesn't know how to read charts. <laughs> As I pointed out, she tried to say that there hadn't been a decline in English majors, even though English majors had declined, according to the numbers. And history had completely fallen out of the top 10 of majors. And somehow she made this all look like it wasn't a big deal because people were still getting degrees. They're getting degrees in fields like global studies, which like is meaningless, right? Because if kids are learning global studies or how to put things together synthetically, that's exactly the opposite of what is going on with these outside protesters on these campuses. They're trying to take everything apart with one fell swoop, right? This dodgy charge of anti-Semitism, which day by day is exposed for the red herring that it is. Nevertheless, just saying Northern Gaza is officially in famine. I mean, it's probably been there. Right? They're saying in the Times of Israel that Netanyahu has been acting as his own spokesperson and background, right? Quasi-anonymously, right? Imagining talking to the audience, right? Note to self, imagining talking to the audience, right? It's a very simple set, right? Any of these pieces could be a prompt, right? And yes, no, that was so sweet of my colleague, another new one who asked me if I had been to heaven in London. And I said, well, of course I've been to heaven in London. That was the place to go if you were a gay person in the know. But here I see my heaven cap from the heaven here in Fairfax. Mark Jacobs is heaven bionic. We're all veterans in a country that's built on war. We're all prisoners in a country built on incarceration. Say it with me, friends. 
what am I supposed to say? This is what my study of American history, of American English, of British English, of English English, of Indian English, of South African English, and a sprinkling of lots of other idiomas. That is what my brain has led me to believe. I gotta get the fuck out of here, okay? It's too real sometimes for me. All I want is a lavender oat milk latte. Actually, I would love it if it could be a lavender. I'd love to do a lavender half oat milk. Half, if anybody can, at intermission, if you want this to go on, please. I'm just building my audience now, please. I would love if anybody wants, if anybody wants to do a mitzvah for me, please. Please, I had a student once who called me rabbi, so it's not, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just, whatever the children say. You know, who am I to tell children that the Controlled Substances Act, what was I reading before people came here today? The Controlled Substances Act is the statute establishing federal U.S. drug policy under which the manufacture, importation, possession, use, and distribution of certain substances is regulated. It was passed by the 91st United States Congress as Title II of the Comprehensive Drug Abuse Prevention and Control Act of 1970, signed into law. I'm just speaking fast because my arm is hurting. <laughs> it's signed into law by President Richard Nixon. The act also served as the national implementing legislation for the single convention on narcotic drugs. This was all in the end a reaction to the 1960s and flower power, y'all. And in my own study of flower power, I've learned two things. The pussy is a flower, and 420 is a flower. Do you know what I mean? Right, and cats are pussies too. Meow, meow, choo, choo, right? There's just, people wanna feel good at the end of the day, you know, and there's no harm, no foul when it comes to marijuana. And that's really the end of my story. You know, I am capable of not smoking, but my quality of life is so much higher when I do smoke, you know? And I'm really somebody who changed because I was able to continually let go and feel good. And therefore focus. And it's really something to give up anxiety because as people who fully experience disordered anxiety, right? When you're that anxious, your body is spending so much energy trying to keep yourself moving, right? I mean, we have, right, we have these default systems that kick into place, right? It's amazing the clarity, right? That wave that crashes. When you don't have to do that, you know, you can just step confidently through your life as the person you've always have been, right? But it was only allowed out here and there, you know? Anyway, it's funny. I've just been training for a new job teaching people how to read. And it just reminds me that there's a lot of difficulty that people can have with reading, right? Listen to how I even said that, right? A lot of people have difficulty reading out there, you know? Listen to how I said that, right? I fortunately was a very fluent reader from a very early age, you know? And... 
you know, I'm somebody who's always been able to use reading as, you know, reading has never, reading, reading has never failed me. You know, it's just sometimes I get bored reading, you know, people. But yeah, I'm working on this play. What I did to keep myself in the game of life. I, sometimes it is just letting go and waiting for that wave to catch you, right? That's your team. And I'm okay with the concept of team insofar as we're talking about friendly play. But too many people take team to mean competition only, and that's what I don't like, is that kind of competition. You know, measurement. I was gonna say too much of my life and then I stopped. Too much of my life was subject to measurement of one sort or another. Anyway, the laundry's gonna be done very soon though. We'll go into the dryer and then I'm gonna hang up some new brown t-shirts that I got from H&M a great deal. The pair of wide-legged slouchy high-waisted brown pants and uh, that's gonna be my uniform going forward I think. You know, you really can just have everything at such a great price point these days. And no, it is fast fashion, but I find that H&M clothes really do work well as work gear. And I'm just going to leave it there. Thanks, H&M. This is from H&M, too. I love you all. Hi, Mickey. Bye, Mickey. Call me, maybe.